What's up? The passion runs deep here in Norman, Oklahoma, or as they say, sooner born and sooner bred, and when I die, I'll be sooner dead. Welcome to Oklahoma and the home of the Sooners. And the Sooners will get us started with the opening kickoff. On the run from inside his own clock. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Wildcats offense will get the first possession of the game. And here comes this quarterback when he takes the field. He brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Guys like this don't come around very often, but he makes the whole team better. But the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need him. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Safe completion on the screen. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. So Oklahoma's offense has its first opportunity of the day. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it, the awareness, the ability to see the ball to break on the football, and he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking the safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball, because this safety is a different breed. Got three on first down at second and seven. No, Jess, right? The play action fake. Looking for the sideline and a nice That job. was an interesting out. throw. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Looking to throw. Got it set up on the outside. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. The Sooners will punt this one away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Couldn't find a lane. They pick up a one to the 31. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs, but I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Damn. Close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Man, and you see those sticks, and you're like, dude, third and short, I just got to fall forward and get the first down, Palmer, but the defense comes up big and gets the stop. So on offense, don't overthink this one. Fourth and inches, just line up, something easy, you know you can execute in your sleep and go keep this drive going. And I like this. I, I like aggressiveness, especially early in ball games. Set the tone. I'm going to go for it. I I'm going to play four down football. Nowadays, it makes a lot of sense. You see it with analytics. Go for it, even if it's in your own territory. They'll ride the hot hand. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They'll run it. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. Fires left. And it's picked off. 
Really nice focus by the sophomore. He jumped on his chance to make a play. The offense set for a first down play. Running back goes in motion. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Keeps it going. And they can't make the play on third down. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in third and long situations. They got great the defense. Play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Just missed on the connection, incomplete. Safe to say, this defense sets the tone for their football team. They were the reason they won the last time out, and they are putting the clamps down on their opponent early in this one. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. The receiver on the jet sweep. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that's a great job by the defense, understanding exactly the situation, understanding to stay home, play sound. No matter who gets the football, we're going to run to the football hard. We're going to cage the football, be disciplined. Nice job by the defense. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football, picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Kentucky will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back. They've been going back and forth. last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play there and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out and forward backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Off play action. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Well, this defense received a lot of well-earned accolades after registering four sacks last week. They've put everybody on notice, and they're doing it again. And this defense goes back-to-back -back sack, Jack. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field. We're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. And they'll get off one more play before the end of the quarter. Off the play fake on first down. It is, he throws. And that one is incomplete. It's the end of the first How do you quarter. not catch it's that? It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Give to the running back. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six.
Trying to pick up a first down. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. He is struggling. Touchdown of the game, but what a great job by the defender, seeing the football and swatting it away. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. Fair catch, called for and made. The punter should get a raise. And the defense. The drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field. Possession after possession, Jesse. This offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get... Snags it down the right side. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown sooner. The old Larynx is going to get a workout today with all these boomer sooners cascading down here in Oklahoma. I do love that about college football, the individual chance. You get, and when you get going early, when you get going and get this crowd going in the game, they can be a big part of a man. It energizes the whole team. And you hear what in this stadium, Reese? Boomer! Sooner! Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Off the play fake. He's going to throw deep wide side. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. This quarterback is living dangerously now. Threw a pick earlier in the game, and he almost threw another one right there. These windows are tight. He's got to be really good with his decision making. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. Well, the offense is trying to get it done on the ground there on third down, but they just can't seem to make it work. Because of how physical the defense has been, guys, it's made this offense very one-dimensional. I mean, the only way it seems they can move the football is when they try to throw it. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. They bring him down, and he's right. going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the I don't know why I really struggle that. Great job by the defensive line, getting some push, making them use their resources. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front of the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punt. They'll mark him down right there, but it'll be enough for a Kentucky first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. 
coming after it. And the quarterback is snowed under. It is hard to get sacks on screens. I mean, the offensive line is staying with it for a little bit. Defensive line is through. A lot of times they read the screen and backpedal. Not on this one. They got through, got to the quarterback, got him on the ground. Not good execution by the offense, but it still counts as a sack. Kentucky will be forced to punt. Oh, my, he just shanked that one. Here comes the sooner. I might play at the third string quarterback. But the base is bad. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting we got no. And I mean no. You got the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive ahead. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short game. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the defense finally makes a stop after the sweet run and good game. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He's going to pass. Quick strike complete. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's Fuentes. And oh, he was off on the races after the catch. And they finally drag him down. The Sooners will try to punch it in on first and goal. He's looking to throw. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Castro. That completion will take it inside the floor and the offense is threatened. He's only a fresh. Can you afford to waste in the red zone? They've already been stopped twice. Can they come through this time? It's third and goal. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love the race down in the red zone. This quarterback didn't have any. But we're struggling. Why? Like, we gotta do something. I'm gonna use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. He was looking for more running room with none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense takes the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Going up top. And they can't make the connection going for a big play on first down. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. The incompletion on first down leaves him with second and ten from the 43. Throws to the wideout. Working that left side. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. Fires and picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. He's been depending on our defense. Oh. You can tell he's ready for what he's seeing. Second interception. I would not throw near that guy anymore. You might want to try the other side of the field. Grab behind the line. It's Castro. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. And that's a really good job. What about the leverage? 
I can't let that fast sucker get outside of me towards the sidelines. Nice job expanding with him and then going and making a tackle. One of the hardest things to do in football is tackle guys. In the hey, but maybe our defense can say something. Quarterback, he's going to have to be so good with his eyes in this game. You're going up against one of the best defenses in the country. You've got to look guys off, especially when you're trying to throw your primary target like he was on that last one. That's reeled in. It's Castro. And as an offense, that's just why you cannot get behind the sticks in these types of situations. Third in California is hard to complete and is hard to convert for anybody. And even though the running back is able to do something positive on that third down play, it's just too many yards to gain. Now they're forced to punt. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Kentucky will put it deep to get the second half underway. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Time for this sooner offense to go back to work. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about at halftime. A hundred percent. You can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football, but if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. It continues to be a long day as they are just swarming every time he gets the ball. Free snap motion in the backfield. Touch pass on the run. Fakes his man out. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They finally make the stop at the big line. He's ready to move those sticks for the first down. And the Sooners are on the move. They're getting this guy lathered up. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and 12. Wide receiver shows motion. Now the play fake. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. What? Inside the 10. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown. Well, we lost. The mantra is always finished, and they're trying to do that here in the regular season with this. They saw to go on the road and win, like, down 21. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge, and also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football test and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get the end zone. That was a nice job by Kirby. Yeah, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Offense set on first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Well, another incompletion. You can see the frustration building, but you got to give the defense credit. They came into this one knowing no one was giving them a shot because of their record, because of what their stats are on paper. But they're playing better football. They're playing with better effort, and right now they're making the most. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing. He puts a lot of air down the sideline. He's got it on the right. That's what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown. That's pretty much what just happened there.
Ready to try the point after. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going now. Texas has a lead right now in Austin, but they've been in a dogfight so far and just haven't been able to pull away. They're up by four. We got this, guys. Carolina. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And the pass is intercepted. Touchdown, Wildcats. What a great play by the defense. And paying it off with the interception return. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the offense? Exactly what you're supposed to. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on the offense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. On to attempt to try. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. On the move from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Lining up from the 34 on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. And the ball slipped out. He's got the ball and he'll try to pick up a field. Dang it. Well, the running back really lucky. He jumped on his own fumble right there. And he's going to have to do a better job of keeping five points of pressure on the ball and the ball security because you put it on the ground and you find yourself on the sideline in this offense. The Sooners are flying down the field. Going on top of the first down. And this will be a complete a big hit there for the second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking for room. It's Washington. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, going up top. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. The Sooners will try to pin them back with the punt. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they execute. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Well, they tried the play fake, but it fooled absolutely nobody. And that's the problem with play action pass, Reese, is that it takes time to develop. The quarterback's got to fake the handoff, and receivers generally are running routes further downfield. So the offensive line has got to be able to hold up that extra second to give their QB an opportunity. They weren't able to do it there. He hurls one deep down the left side. Fires it into a crowd, and it's picked off. And he's brought down his We can't do nothing so far past 
Austin. My That's enough of a break. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. On second down, just keeps fire. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And the Sooners send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense, takes the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they'd hoped for. Now first and 10 from the 40. He wants to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And the defense just gets their fourth sack of the day. And guess what? This offensive line, they gave up four last week, too. So you need some consistency up front. Make sure you protect that QB that can make those big plays for you. They're setting up the screen. Still on his feet at the 45. And he'll be brought down. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting them the football, letting them get some positive yards. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerful. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. You know, you got to be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, then that, that ball's not going to win. You just saw it right there. Better play by the defense. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat-out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky! Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out. But we can fix that right now, fellas. They went out and looked so good on that last drive. We did. Put out Troy Wide. And the extra point was made with that incident, and we're tied up here in the third. We got hard. Just about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. A first down for the offense. He's looking to throw it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Looking to pass on second down. Using the quick game. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. We've reached the end of the third quarter, and we have a potential classic on our hands, all tied up as we take a peek at the stats. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. He's looking downfield to throw, using his legs to buy some time. Get all you can, then get down with the slide. 
Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. Really good job on the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense Palmer has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Quickly complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. You know, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Goodness, that is the way you blow up a play quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hair on fire caused a wreck that had to be a blown assignment. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Complete to the left. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. How nice is it for the quarterback knowing he's got a tight end that can get down the field vertically on the corner route. You know if you just put it anywhere near this guy with his long arms, he's going to pluck the football. He did it right there. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. And they've converted their first two third down opportunities, but a third and long is a different animal. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful. Oh. This time, the defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. This place is so hard to play at. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, you're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Third down and one, and this is why they call it a gut check. They'll try to get him through the air. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Oh, uh, I just love to have back. It's third and one. You're trying to take a shot. You're trying to take advantage of man coverage. You've got to give your quarterback more time to get that ball up. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Oh, shit. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Ran through the tackle and he's got room to run. They finally make the stop and he shows why he is dangerous on the one, two, and he's got a first down. The offense sets up shop at the 46 on first down. The give to the back. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, good call by the defense there. They dialed up blitz into that running play and the linebacker able to make the stop. Unloads to the wideout. And this is going to be intercepted. A big play in a tie game. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked Oklahoma out. Oklahoma is so tight. To go. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. 
I mean, I want it again. We came all the way back on dislodging the football from its intended target. Nice job. This time on target. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, running back gets to give. A run up the middle is stuffed for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Gets open down the middle. Makes the catch and he's brought down. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? Pass the first down marker and still running. And he's brought down after a nice game. The clock has stopped as we have reached the two-minute warning here in the ball game. Movement here from the tight end. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Looking for a crease. It's Washington. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The defense going to stop the clock for the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Just drives it between the... They got one and chance. And now they've taken the lead here in the final two minutes. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin, a lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Texas is down right now, but there is still a ton of football to be played. And for a program that ranks inside the top 10 all-time in wins, don't be surprised if they come back. Trying to find his man on first down. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to South Carolina. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. A first down sack can be a drive killer. Now it's second and 13. Throws for the tight end. The freshman quarterback very fortunate for that one to fall incomplete. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And that is interception number three on the day. Well, we back. lost. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma. At least we tried. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Really nice drive by this offense. This is a top 10 defense. This is a challenge. They're going to make everything difficult. So when you can make some plays against this defense, you got to absolutely take advantage, create some momentum for your squad. Nice drive by this offense. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start oh, yeah, the drive. This quarterback has to stay calm, cool, and collect. He'll off one deep down the left side. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, they'll take to the air. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. Looking to move it through the air. Man! This guy just can't find his own players. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as... Seven. 
Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. And they'll take a knee, the universal symbol.